Out of all the reality series on Bravo, Southern Charm might be the network's most explosive project. From Thomas and Catherine to Craig and Whitney and beyond, the drama's been turned up to 11 since season 1. Want to dish on their deepest, darkest secrets? We're ready to spill the tea, y'all! Craig's Law School Lies He sure wasn't kidding when he called himself a great liar in season 5. I'm a great liar. In fact, Craig Conover told many lies about his so-called aspirations to be a lawyer. You're talking about me like I'm a high school dropout. <laughs> we just graduated law school. Did you really graduate? Yeah. <laughs> but not only did he fib about graduating from law school, he also never took the bar exam because he didn't have his degree. I said, Craig, do you really want to be an attorney? And he goes, yeah. No, he doesn't. He even enlisted fellow castmate Shep Rose to unknowingly help him with his fake bar exam application. I sat there with him and like basically co-signed the bar application. We p stuffed it in an envelope. Where, where the hell did that letter go to? But Conover did eventually finish his thesis and start his life as an attorney. Did I tell you guys yet? Graduated law school. Did you? I got the email, yeah. Good. It's happening. I Can I one day call you to get me out of jail? JD's ongoing scandals. It's no secret to anyone that J.D. Madison fancies himself to be a skilled businessman. Fans have watched Madison launch Gentry Bourbon, and he was often filmed at his popular restaurant, the Gentry Bar in Rome. Did you bring cash? <laughs> that would have been cool. I love cash. But what Madison's story left out was his alleged $160,000 in unpaid rent, according to the Charleston City Paper. You pretend to do like the Golden Boy shit. It doesn't work anymore. Everybody at this table knows that you're a complete piece of shit. But as of September 2018, JD's facing more than just money problems. According to Deadline, he's been accused of assaulting and drugging a South Carolina woman. No arrests have been made. Ravenel's hush money? One of the most troubling secrets about the cast concerns the assault accusations against Thomas Ravenel. Ashley Perkins alleged to People in 2018 that her mom, Debbie, was sexually assaulted by Ravenel in 2015. Ravenel strongly denies these allegations, but there's possible evidence Ravenel intended to keep the situation quiet. Ashley claims Ravenel paid Debbie off, telling People her mom signed an NDA and that they ended up settling for $200,000. Catherine's Drug Test Cover-Up At the Southern Charm Season 3 reunion, Ravenel and Landon Clements accused Catherine Dennis of failing a court-ordered drug test. When you just failed a drug test. You don't know anything. <laughs> no, I didn't. Prove it. Sadly, Dennis had lied about the results. Court docs obtained by All About the Tea revealed the mom of two tested positive for marijuana, cocaine, and opiates. Dennis eventually copped to the failed test after a trip to rehab in 2016. I did not pass it. It's the, the most disappointed I've ever felt in myself in my entire life. But following her admission, she's been able to turn her life around and even gain some friends. I, I just feel a liking for her. It's genuine. Cameron's bad boy hubby. Considering her husband Jason Wimberly is an esteemed anesthesiologist, we bet Cameron Eubanks wasn't pleased when his secret DUI arrest came to light in 2017. He's actually really close friends with everybody on the cast. He just doesn't want to be on camera, which I don't blame him. I get it. Back in 2012, Charleston police witnessed Wimberly make an illegal U-turn and careen into a restaurant parking lot. Wimberly was arrested and later pleaded no contest to reckless driving. Ravenel's Hamptons Bust While he's never been one to conceal his legal woes, including his highly publicized indictment in 2007 for federal charges related to cocaine distribution, Ravenel even poked fun at himself in a political ad joking, I'll raise the roof, but I won't raise your taxes. But Ravenel was tight-lipped about his DWI arrest in 2013. When the news went public, he told the Post and Courier, When I'm wrong, I admit it, and make it right. That's what Thomas Ravenel does. I was not drunk, and I look forward to making my case in court. But in 2014, the paper reported Ravenel pleaded guilty to driving while intoxicated. Whitney's Pan Documentary when Southern Charm first premiered in 2014, Whitney Sedler Smith, the show's creator and one of its stars, credited himself as an accomplished filmmaker. And while it's true he directed the doc Ultra Suede in search of Halston, it wasn't as well received as he led viewers to believe. He said in 2010, I think the results were slightly mixed, but overall I think it's a fun, solid film. But in reality, slightly mixed was a generous assessment. Critic Sherry Linden of the LA Times wrote, The story is trivialized in this glitter-deep overview of familiar Studio 54 terrain. A southern gentleman should not curse. Make the f***ing move on your f***ing lady. Hey, at least Sudler Smith had fun making the flick.